What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. And hey, we got Hell of a Boss, The Full Moon Season 2, Episode 8. Hey, shout out to Vizzy Pop, because hey, with the whole thing with Has Been Hotel and such, yeah, a lot of, th I'm surprised, right? I am very surprised that a lot of songs from the nerdcore community from Has Been Hotel, why ain't nobody trying to make no hell of a boss song yet? Y'all, hey, nerdcore community, because I know y'all show love to me and I show love back. Y'all need to start making songs from hell of a boss, man. Because this the exact, because in a way how Has Been Hotel is, hell of a boss is like that and much, much, much more. I'm just, Hey, I'm just saying, y'all need to start making some hell of a boss songs. That's just me. But either way, we finna check this new episode out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> and hey, if you haven't come accustomed to what hell of a boss is, hell of a boss is. You see this 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 disclaimer right here. Read. I'm gonna make y'all read this for a quick second, cause once I click play and once we get into this, I don't want nobody getting offended or whatnot and such. Saying, "Why do you watch this?" and you will see why. So all of this, read it good, cause here we go. Thank you to the butterflies in my stomach. I haven't felt this nervous since I was a little fluffy down nesting. My daring do is half disguised behind the smile. My beak is grinding, ever minding. I swore I wouldn't dwell on the divorce to for my own health. I remind myself that when I see him, I know that it won't feel so tough. I'll believe him and not the voice that says I'm not enough. No need for an arrangement. Just so you know, he's talking about Blitz. And just be him and me, I'll set us free. How perfect it could be when I see him tonight. What's Blitz saying? See him tonight? All right, all right. It's been a while since he begged for attention. <laughs> Are we okay? Can't really say. I'm getting by by avoiding his questions. So complicated. I hate when it's complicated. Ooh. Why do I always end up in situations that are complicated? <clears throat> Here I go again, getting in my head. So I'll focus on the sexy stuff instead. When I see, <laughs> when I hey, with these two, with Silas and freaking Blitzo, they're a definitely a complicated quote word in quotations couple. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Here I go again, getting in my head, so I'll focus on the sexy stuff instead. When I see him, when I see him, I'm gonna do that thing he likes. I will change things. No need things. to change things. I'll just bring the rope and spice. Oh, God. We've got a nice arrangement, and it's working out just fine. We'll <laughs> keep it light. I'll fucking die alone if this goes bad. When I see him tonight. <laughs> Am I doing something I can't take back? Relax! What do you want me if he was free? Or why? And if he's only no, no here as a prisoner, what kind of monster does that make me? My entire life's been written in stone. And he taught me that I could choose. Sure. He deserves the choice to stay or go. Though it scares me to think what I'd lose. We can't wait to lose ourselves in nasty sex oh. and make that bird squawk. Really must convert we'll do it with what makes sense. I am liking the different with how Silas is with this dramatic tone and such and Blitz just saying we just go we just go fucking that's it <laughs> like but you see little cracks in Blitz away saying why is this shit complicated and all that so you see the little you see the little care he has right there but all he just thinks about is well he's trying to mask that into just saying ah we just gonna F and get along with it and make that bird squawk Really must convert We'll just get with what makes sense Like him sucking my oh, This is the worst Waiting for hey, the show to drop Who needs words when you got a mouthful of Come to 
your senses Then I'll do that thing with my tongue where I'm worthy of your love and trust oh. Leave this bird was nice and rough And I cannot come soon Tell me coming soon enough Oh yeah <laughs> But when I see him Will it be tender? Will be tough <laughs> Will it please him? Or will I just be fucking it all up? Can this be a relationship? Or am I still naive? I'll set us free Whatever it may be When I see him Tonight Crazy. Oh, thank you, thank you! How could I ever repay you? No need, ma'am. I was just in the right place at the right time. Did you have to hug him so hard? I'm at underwear level, you know. And that guy clearly hadn't showered today. Oh, stop! Complaining. <laughs> I had you? to sell it, didn't I? How'd we do, Cletus? Not great! Let's head up for another run! I don't know, Cletus. Doesn't this all seem a little... sinful? We've been over this! We are still helping people! We just... Mm -mm. Hold on. But that man with an opportunity to be selfless and heroic! After that performance, he's sure to get into heaven! We Nigga, y'all just throw... If this don't tell you how most people are nowadays where they feel like they're helping when really they only helping themselves, not the person. <laughs> y'all literally just scam y'all literally just freaking faked a baby getting killed and such. The guy came in and saved the day and whatnot. You hugged him so tight that he's not gonna be unaware of what's going on. And then you pickpocket his wallet. How is that guaranteed for heaven? Just if y'all don't know, these are if for those who are new to this and such, these guys, these three used to be they're known as the cherubs. They used to do things that was godlike and always appreciate God and saying they want to go to heaven. They are like the angels, but after a little incident. Where, with an old man in search where they literally killed the old man sorry y'all you already know who I had to I told you I see me saying hold on a second cuz of who but yeah, where they literally killed an old man, whether it was accidental or not, they killed him. Which was supposed to be the imp's job, but they did it instead. So with that action, the other cherubs from heaven and such told him that those three are banned from heaven. I am reacting. Well, I am reacting, he has to wait. Anyway, yeah, basically, these three are banned from heaven, so they can't ever go back into heaven, ever. So, they might preach about, want to say people might go to heaven and their ways or whatnot, but let's face it, ah, ah, save me that bull. We are still helping people. They think they just you are. provided that man with an opportunity to be selfless and heroic. After that performance? He's sure to get into heaven. We just saved a soul. Is that how it works? Don't you think eternal salvation is worth 20 bucks in a Queeznose punch card? I, I guess. It's just... You want to eat, don't you? Want to live long enough to save more souls and earn our way back into heaven? Of course. I just... Uh... Well, then quiet your incessant whinging and get back under that coat. We have to... Wow! Oh. 
Ah, no, not these two. What? Where are we? Wait, ask the questions here. Not these two again. <laughs> Hey, all I say is, if you haven't caught up on Hell of a Boss, watch from episode 1 to current, until episode 7, and then come back here and trust me, you'll get a reason why these motherfuckers are something else. <laughs> what? Where are we? Wait, ask the questions here. Hell spawn. But I'm just a little baby. Why would you... Where's your boss? What boss? This guy. You know that? Peanut head? So that's his name. You know, I think maybe we can help each other out here. Hard shooting there, Mox. Pro as usual. Millie, beautiful bloody mess in there. Ha! What a great fucking day this is. We're got tech! God, YouTube. Just remember, YouTube is a cartoon. Let me get off this. You sure seem in good spirits today, sir. It's rare to see you wear something not bad. Well, it's the first of all, fuck you. It's the full <laughs> moon. I gotta meet up. Damn, <laughs> that little scre that little sneak in. Fuck you. Something not bad. Well, it's the first of all, fuck you. It's the full moon. I gotta meet up with Stolas tonight. Felt like dressing up a little since it's been a few months since I've been inside of his feathered ass. A few months? Yeah, the birds started giving me more ways out of our monthly fuck set. She'd be all like, oh, Blitzy, I know it's the full moon tonight, but you don't have to come if you don't want to, Blitzy. So I've just been taking breaks from having to plow his feathered ass into his fancy ass mattress. Ugh. TMI, sir. Point me. Tonight I feel like I could use a little fuckery. It's been a good day, feeling like my stamina's up. And I'm horny. Oh shit. He's getting bored of you. What? what? Yeah, man. If someone wants to see you less and less, big red flag. I mean, hey, think about it. No matter which jet, no matter who it is, whether it's to the female or to the guy, think about it. That's facts. If somebody is seeing you less than less than less than less, you might be done, nigga. What? Yeah, man. If someone wants to see you less and less, big red flag. X. If they give you chances to ditch, they probably want out themselves. Just want to be more passive aggressive about it. Dicks. How do you know, Luna? <laughs> I do that all the time. Yes, she does. <laughs> well, tits. Guess I finally got to do position 37 tonight. Okay. Don't worry, though. This book ain't going nowhere if I have anything to fuck about. Hey, yo. It. I'll dick him so good. He'll let us keep this thing another year easy. Well, I hope so, sir. Business has actually hit a peak, and it would be disastrous to lose what we worked for now. So fucking good, sir. Don't worry, Mox. By the end of the night, I'll have Stolas eating out of my ass. Hey, yo. If the gag will let him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like I said, if you saw the war you saw the warning. So rest assured, there are gonna be some nasty ass jokes like this. So if you ain't unaware, if you don't like this, you can click off right now. That's all I'ma say. Stop. <laughs> okay, girl up, Mox. That's what adults do. We're horny. Fuck me, Moxie. We've used like all the shit in this box. I, if Stolas is bored after this, uh, I need to up the ante. Moxie, I need you to hold down the fort. Get some overdue paperwork done. What overdue paperwork? That one. Just give to Moxie. He's crazy. <laughs> Why would a bunch of angels be looking for demons? We just want to get back into- We're exorcists! The flaming swords of the heavens! Here to strike them down with fire revenge! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! We lay in wait- Yeah, these two are more into going to hell than him. These two are definitely gonna end up in hell. If these two don't end up in hell, I'll be surprised. For them to return to Earth, so we might smite them once and for all! Nice talking to the- Ow! I'm saying these crowns should not be on their heads no more. He's the only si he's the only pureful one there. He's the one with common sense. These two, you can tell when certain 
This this how it represents with certain things that happen in the world. Cause you get two people who might think they're good for the world, might think they're helping people, but really they're a bunch of egotistical bitches. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'm, I have a strong feeling that these two bitches are gonna be ending up in hell. So we might smite them once and for all. Nice talking about. Ow! Maybe you don't have to wait. Come with us. If I'm not mistaken, what was their initial again? Wasn't it losers or dorks? Pretty sure it was dorks, right? Well, either way, whether losers or dorks, they are in. Since their assault on Compound X, our government has quadrupled our funding and allowed us unfettered access to the most bleeding edge military advancements. Demonic Ain't no way to prove oh. Hellfire suppression suits, camouflage exoskeletons, and a battalion of high. Why they have a furry suit there? Well. <laughs> By the way. Happy Pride Month to all of y'all out there. <laughs> no disrespecting or anything, just... Hey, what's so crazy about this is... What a way for me to react to the first thing on Pride Month and such. So, for all my LGBTQ people out there and such... The lovable, like the honest, the good, the actual good ones out there. Because, trust me, some of y'all have a lot of bad ones... And even the own, even your own community knows that too. So hey, don't act like. Look, for all my good ones out there, shout out to y'all. Suits, camouflage exoskeletons, and a battalion of highly that, trained combat is crazy, though. priests. All so we could finally utilize this. What is it? Our ticket. To the other side. <laughs> An extra dimensional portal generator. This bad boy will allow us to open a door straight into hell where we plan on eliminating the demonic threat before they can punish this great country. Well, uh, once we work out all the kinks, yeah. Kinks. So far, we've only been able to open the portal about two feet in diameter, hardly big enough to fit a child through. And we can't very well send children. Last time. Those guys. Well, damn. Damn it. For all those parents who send them little kids there, y'all are assholes. Time. Those goddamn American heroes. Honestly. Fuck you, boy, American heroes. You just sent th you sent how many of them? Five? Hold on, let me go back. Go back to how much there was. Okay. That's the last time. One, two, three, four, five. I think it was four, but you sent them four. Those goddamn American heroes. Fuck you, boy. And you, you wonder why these two are f fucking idiots. <laughs> Honestly, we're not even sure that was hell we sent them to. Point is, we could use someone or someones with more experience. How about it, little guys? Wanna, Wanna help, help us hunt some demon scum? Fuck yeah! <laughs> yeah! I'm not supposed to be cursing, what the fuck? I was about to say, uh uh, you went, you just, you just exposed yourself, nigga. The fact that you even wore that suit was crazy. <laughs> even she was like, nigga, no. <laughs> you 
Eat your rice back there. Yeah, you will literally have to. Because, literally, like you said, the that portal was two inches. Ain't no way you're gonna hit that whole entire student. I, I, what, what I told you at the start, what I told you earlier, and even though I'm just still saying that the other guy is not gonna go to hell like those two are, hey, they're in hell regardless. <laughs> Welcome, little one. What can I interest you in today? Uh -oh. I'm looking for a snazzy candle. One that screams sexy. You got anything that'll get anyone in the mood, buddy? Bitch, you're in the lust ring. Everything here has sexy energy. But what kind of mood are you aiming for? Just horny, very, very horny. Max horny. They're all horny. What's the mood? I don't know. I'm a simple pervert imp. I just need something fucky. Just say it all out. You, he literally said, hey, look, all I'm going to say is this. If you not sense what I know I said it at the start, but I'm saying this during the middle. Do not, if I say some wild shit here, hey, I'm only reacting to what of what I'm reacting to. So, so for whatever I'm saying in the video, it pertains to this. I won't be saying this shit in real life. Well, not have you know what I mean but like I was like I was gonna say hey he literally said you in the blustering nigga if you're gonna go if you said that you bored of fucking him the same way go all out then go somewhere use something that is so new and shit that nigga even if you used it if you even if you used it once you want to use it again Oh, I'm a simple pervert imp. I just need something fucking. <laughs> something crazy. Oh, there he is. Let's take him. Hold on. Where's the rest of them? He wasn't alone before. I say we follow him for a bit. Make sure he's by himself. Cletus, if we don't do this, we're never getting back into heaven. Which is why we have to make sure this goes smoothly. We have only one shot. It has to be perfect. It's just boobs. Do you know the measurements of the other one? Uh, not really, but he's tall as shit. Well, he has some pretty long harnesses. Also can't go wrong with something that's stretches. Ooh, that is fancy. All right, I'm into it. Sweet heavens, what kind of store is this? <laughs> the sky tr Let's just say, my guy, if you're innocent, hey, I ain't saying I'm innocent either. We, I've, said, I've said this multiple times in myself. We all have a little kinky side. We all have a little freakness in all of us. If you say you're not, you lying. Sweet heavens, what kind of store is this? This guy truly is a sicko. Can I help you all? <laughs> Hello, fellow vile healthies. We are on a totally normal demon day. Just out looking to get some good toys. Nigga. Just by your, if I was saying if I'm in hell and I'm like, I don't know if that's a hers. Well, saying if I was this demon spider, and I see these three come in my store, nigga, all you not finna fool me. You not finna fool me. Thinking that you get the fuck out of here, especially with that voice. Even Moxie's voice sounds way more in the realm of demon, in the realm of how hell is, than your voice. And his voice is squeaky too. His voice sounds more country and more a little bit proper, but still a little bit country in it too. His twang in it and such, but I'd rather accept his than yours, because yours sounds way too squeaky weaky clean. Robotic looking friend. What kind of torturing are we looking to do? Oh, you know, to 
just your standard thing. As long as it doesn't hurt too much. Like, do you have any harshly worded bumper stickers? Uh, or something for a mild spanking? Oh, that be a spank! We got you on the ground, you wish you wish, set it, unset it, wouldn't let the tank take you on, so what do you think, too? Oh, shit. <laughs> That, that, that spider got all the works. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly what we're looking for. What was that other horrid hell spawn looking at? Oh, just some of those. Cletus, he's clearly on his way to claim another innocent earthly soul in some... Look, y'all gotta realize... These three gotta realize that when you're in hell, it's not only demons, it's not only when they're gonna claim souls and such. When they're not doing that, let's just say that shit you just saw, that's what they be doing too. Whether it's male, whether it's male on female, female on female, or male on male. <laughs> Motherfucker about to you know, thanks for doing me this solid fizz. I gotta get the good shit for tonight, and I know you and Oz make the best toys in town. I got you, buddy. We have some new prototypes, and I think we'll get the job <laughs> done for a fancy gentleman like yourself. It's so cool that these two are back together, though. Like, talking on a... In a way, it's still talkative, but still a fuck you type of energy, but... Hey. If you... Look, with Fizzarelli and Blitzo, they had a little disagreement for the time period, but they came along back together, sort of way. Gentlemen like yourself. Now, we have got these new beads. Ooh, they're made of real obsidian. Oh, that's beautiful, but you know, Stolas never really seemed into the beads. Oh, right, not into the beads, I get it. Fancier then. We have some stylish blindfolds. Our new collection has encrusted jewels. Oh shit, those are nice. And if you're feeling really frisky, we have the new Dragon Driller 5000. It's a good thing these bitches blurred it, cause god freaking damn. No. Even if, even with it blurred out and shit, nigga, god freaking dead. <laughs> now with vibration. <laughs> there we go. That's his speed. I will take that. Nigga, even as a nah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ain't no way, nigga. Friends. What is this place? It's so heavily guarded. Uh, armory? War room? What? Don't you realize stealth is our greatest advantage here? Oh, darling, look. Voyeurs. Positively adorable, darling. I think he's coming in. Oh, God, what's that? <laughs> Dear God. He's going to use that on an innocent person? Not on an innocent person. Lord Almighty. I I hope they show a scene. I hope in this they show a scene of what Blitz and Silas is about to do with that big ass thing. And when they see it, they be oh my god. Please for the love of God. Look, I know it's crazy of me to pray for it, but please let it. Please, I know it's crazy of me to even say this, but please let them see that. <laughs> Cause I guarantee you they will they will be mortified. They would be mortified. You're right. Okay guys, it's time. Now's our moment. Remember everything that horny little fudge knuckle did to us, because now we make him pay for the humans, for the heavens, and most of all for us. Let's go kick some ass! We were already 
following our dumbass boss to make sure he doesn't fuck up and lose our meal ticket. Good point. And you weren't exactly covert. Come on. Got like a lot of nerve coming to our neighborhood after the like really like even they like come on now you really like that's why I was saying like really really it took them long enough but still even they know like nigga if y'all thought y'all gonna just come in here willy nilly and try to basically like this y'all came into the wrong hood on this one boss to make sure he doesn't fuck up and lose our meal ticket <laughs> And you weren't exactly covert. You got a lot of nerve coming to our neighborhood after the ass kicking you took last time. A lot of nerve and a lot of upgrades, much. Shout out to Millie, nigga. Fuck you. Hey, one thing's for sure. I don't care what anybody say. If you ain't got to ride or die like Millie, your lady ain't worth it. Straight up. Sorry, hun. You can fly as me, but that don't mean you're anywhere close. Nah. Maxi, get this nigga. I will touch my wound. Welcome to hell, bitch! Wait, what? Medium up. This spicy is crazy. Oh! <laughs> this nigga scared. What I, I knew it. <laughs> I was about to say, if anyhow, they two fall into the pool, they're about to get their freak on. I was about to say it. And what's so crazy is they fall right into that specific part in there. out of here. So, how to go? <laughs> Damn, I wish I well, fuck it, let's see what happens. But they basically say, get your bitch ass out of our hood, nigga. Heidi ha hoo ha stole this. Guess what I got for us? And I got lots of fun shit for us to play with tonight. Like this extra large candle that smells like <sighs> horny. I got, I got whatever uh, this little guy is. But I'm sure there's some place in your cloaca we can stick it. And <laughs> look at this. Not the gnome meme, I heard it. That, ooh. <laughs> the hell? You heard it? But this I'm is sure it. There's some place in your cloaca we can stick it. <laughs> Damn. Even he's not. Do you... <clears throat> Do you have my book, please? Damn. He's not even in... So, hey, that's a shocker that he's not even... He's not even harassed by that damn thing. Do you... <clears throat> Do you have my book, please? 
Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, it's right here. I always bring it. Why do you... I need it back. Permanently. No, 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 no. Hold on, Stolas. Come on. Is this because I've taken up skipping a few rounds with you in bed because I'm busy? That ain't fair. All right, I, I, I can still hold up my end of the bargain. All right, let, let me show you a good time tonight. You know I can. Please don't say it like that, Blitz. I... Come on, bitch. You know I don't disappoint. No, 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 no. There's no need. I've made up my mind. Stolas, please. Do I, I need this book. Please. I need this book, Stolas. I will do anything. This is an Asmodian crystal. It's registered in your name. Uh, what? Asmodeus has his demons legally travel to Earth for work all the time. I made the case for you to own one. You will be technically under his jurisdiction, but you will be able to go anywhere you want in the human realm without fear of consequence. Without breaking demon law. You no longer need my grimoire. What? You no longer have any obligation to see me, to touch me, to bed me. You are... you are free of me. I don't understand. Why are you giving me this? Am I not, like, fucking you good enough? Because I can always... I can always do better. Blitz, I'm giving you this because I care very deeply for you. And I have for some time. <clears throat> But this transactional thing we have, it's not right anymore. It has hey, and this is the parts where I like with Hell of a Boss, where they really grip you with the story, where it really tucks the heartstrings. Because, like I because in a way, of all the crazy shit that go on and such, it's really moments like this is where nigga, I don't give a flying fuck. Even though, like, guaranteed, granted, right? Granted, I'm not... Currently, I don't watch Hasman Hotel, right? Currently, because one with Amazon's Prime Video is probably like $14 a month. I'm sorry. Or 15 regardless. I'm sorry. But ain't no... But as much as I would want to watch it, ain't no way I'm paying no $15 a month for Amazon Prime Video. As m and I'm only gonna and I'm only gonna pay it for just only watching Hasman Hotel. And as soon as when it's done, I'm not... No, I'm sorry. Sorry, but no. But this is why I say I like Hell of a Boss way more. Cause even though I'm like I said, I'm still on the whole pilot episode from it, even though it was from four years ago. But still, I guarantee you, this grips me more because one, it was already it was already a series on YouTube. And two, I don't know if Hell of a Boss would I mean not Hell of a Boss, Heisman Hotel would still have that same effect on me. But that could just be my curiosity, me being ignorant of not watching it. Look, all I'm going to say is, may, I'm considering watch. even though I said I won't, but I'm considering it. Because from the many fire songs from the nerdcore community that's been dropping for Has Been Hotel, I ain't going to lie. I'm, just, I'm, I'm a, Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But when the time is right, maybe I will. But this is why... I, Hell of a boss to me is way more better. Just, just as me. Yeah, very deeply for you, and I have for some time. But this transactional thing we have—it's not right anymore. It hasn't been. Mm. It never was. And now all I can see is how wrong it is to be so tethered to someone in such an unfair way, and not know how they feel. But I want you to continue to be who you are. Your business. You don't have to stay here with me. But I want you to. I want you to stay here with me. Because you want to. Only if you want to. Okay, all right, you're fucking with me. This is an interesting role play. Never done this one, but I can get into it. All right, how's this? Right. Oh, Stolas, I'll stay with you. I love you so. Even though, I trust me, don't think I don't see the bullshit. You, you can tell Blitz really knows that's from him personally, like really here and such. But he, like I said, like I earlier said, when they were started to singing, you can see that he's trying to mask it 
by just being him rah rah blah blah and all that stuff but really deep down nigga you know no diddy you know exactly you feel the same way exactly because think about it from the many times when Stoller's ass was in danger how many times do you always in an emotional way not just to save his ass because it's a meal ticket or whatnot but in emotional ways you felt the same because ain't because if he was supposed to be your meal ticket if he was just only to be your meal ticket you wouldn't go the crazy routes and hell he wouldn't have gone the craziest routes to save your ass from whenever you're in danger so. But I can get into it. Alright, how's this? All right. Oh, Stolas, I'll stay with you. I love you so much. I Thank you, Blitz. For awakening me. For making me so happy. Even if only for a little while. I wish you the best with your business. Wait, what? You are serious? Yes, nigga. Oh, hold on now, Stolas. What the fuck? I have my answer, Blitz. You needn't say anything. I have wanted you for so long. The fact that you couldn't believe that I might have these feelings about you, that your first instinct is that it's always... A joke. ...about sex. <laughs> That's it. Hey, if this does... Hey. This is why I say it connects to me. This connects to me way more than has been or tell would. Because, nigga, this touched on a lot of shit that most people in today's world do it. Cart even if this is just animated series or not, certain top certain like lines and such. If this don't say this is in like how a lot of people are nowadays, or how a lot of other couples are nowadays, you lying. About sex. That's enough to know what this is. What? Fuck you, Stolas! You spring this feelings bullshit on me. Are you fucking kidding? Can I get a fucking minute? To think after everything you put me through, you pompous, rich asshole! Treat me like one of your little butler imps! You can't just dismiss me like that! I mean, you royal fucks think you can do this every time! Like, you can just play with our feelings because we're smaller and not as important! Well, I'm not letting you, bitch! Let's go! Hmm. Huh. Blitz, I think so very highly of you. I didn't realize you think so low of me. <laughs> Goodbye, Blitz. Stolas, wait! I'm serious. What the fuck? Damn. Well, goddamn. Of course, Brandon Hodges. God damn. Hold on, let me see if there's anything more. Nope, that's basically about it, but sheesh! Sheesh! Hey. Hey, man. All I'm saying is, nerd core. Y'all need to make more songs. Y'all need to make some songs for hell of a boss. That's all I'm saying. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. What you do you think Blitz is an asshole for thinking like that? Or you think Solus is actually being genuine or is he faking or whatever? Cause to me, I honestly feel like Solus is actually telling the truth. But hey, y'all let me know in the comments below. But it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. I'm out.